You've probably all had this frustration, a gas lawnmower that just won't start. And you've probably all had this frustration too. The lawnmower won't start because it's out of gas, and the can is also out of gas. Or worse still, you have one of those cheap plastic gas cans that spills gas all over the lawnmower, all over the pavement or the grass. In a safe lawn system, there are three mowing alternatives I'd like to talk about. The first one is this relatively old-fashioned real mower. And it's called a real mower because it has these blades on a cylinder. You see these knife blades? And it turns on a cylinder and it actually cuts the grass blades nice and straight. You see the straight cut right there? That's very, very healthy for the grass. But the biggest reason I like it is it's so environmentally friendly. No ear protection, no gasoline, starts anytime you want. Very, very safe. My 13-year-old son uses this mower and he actually enjoys it because it is so much fun to use. Now a lot of you may be saying to yourselves, what, are you kidding me? A real mower? You probably have miserable memories, kind of like I did as a kid. Here's a model of one that I used back in the 60s. My mother used to send me out there. This thing weighs, it takes both my hands to lift it, weighs about 75 pounds, very, very hard to push. It's all wood and heavy steel. And that probably gave lawn mowing a bad name back in those days. Well, the new generation of real mowers, this one's made by the Sun Lawn Company. This only weighs about 22 pounds. Very easy to lift. In fact, I can lift it with one hand. It's made out of lightweight aluminum, steel, and plastic. It's heavy duty plastic, so it'll last a good long time. But it's so much easier to use. Like I said, my 13 year old son can push it no problem. Now, I have to be honest with you, real mowers do have some limitations. Number one, when you go to pull it backwards, the blades barely even turn and they certainly don't cut. So they're useless for pulling it backwards. Number two has to do with the blade height adjustment. Now watch what happens when I mow over really tall grass. Really not much anything, it just pushes the grass right over. Now if you get down here and look at these plants, mostly clover and tall grasses, eight inches, six inches, some of them are almost a foot tall. When it gets that tall, the real mower really can't deal with it. Because when you see over here, the highest setting on the mower is two and a half inches. So about the tallest you can let your lawn get is about three and a half inches. Now if you live in the south, real mowers are ideal because Bermuda grass can be cut to an inch, inch and a half. Seashore past Spallum, about an inch or less. So this is great if you live in southern areas of the country. If you live in the north and keep your bluegrass lawn at three and a half inches or less, you can also use this. But if you're one of those people who likes to let certain areas of the lawn grow to a foot tall, the real mower is not going to be your best choice. But I do have one environmentally 